This is music, and this is my response to Music Suckers Gimme 2023 thread. <laughs> Music Soccer recently started a pretty cool thread. Uh, the concept is awesome, it's very simple too. He would like us to show the vinyl community uh, the 2023 releases that we've picked up so far. Reissues, new releases, both are fair game here. Great timing, we're halfway into the year. And to me, this was also a great opportunity to tally up what I've bought from 2023. I gotta say, it's not a whole lot and a lot of it is reissues. Uh, in the original video that Music Sucker made, he showed CDs and vinyl. I'm gonna expand the formats a bit, so I'm gonna include one cassette tape actually from this year, Onyx, out on, on uh, Jawbreaker Records. This one was uh, released very early in the year. I bought it very early in the year, still sealed though. I'm not going to keep it sealed, I just haven't had the time to listen to it yet. But this is authentic Swedish heavy metal from the 80s, reissued on this compilation. Uh, another reissue, now we're turning to CDs, Isol, Isol, their debut album Forevermore, Doom Metal, out on Hammerheart Records. Very good stuff. And... The first one from this year, um, this is a promo version of Stigger Sveens or De Levede Ulykkelig or Alt for Lenge with a different track list from the uh, official release. This one was given to me by the guy who owns Mephisto because he also runs the label Dead Bangers Productions that this one is out on. Uh, pretty cool to have this version of it. Uh, musically, this is black metal which is mad as a hatter basically so if that sounds like it appeals to you and why shouldn't it if you like black metal check this out another uh, release from this year a uh, love bites judgment day a fantastic power metal these ladies here are just top-notch musicians power metal very thrashy in places very catchy uh schlager melodies all the good things uh, in power metal that I have personally been missing from a lot of more recent power metal. But these ladies have all those qualities in their music. This is a fantastic album. If you like power metal, check it out. Another fantastic album. Back in the world of black metal. Uh, Morning Star by Nat Himmel. Um, it's out on uh, Hammerheart Records. It's described as epic black metal. Personally, I don't know if it's epic. Uh, it does have members from In The Woods and they did kind of epic power, not power, black metal. Um, in any case, epic or not, this is fantastic stuff. Uh, really love this. Uh, what a great band, what a great release. Uh, another great release here, Hell Rippers, Wallachs Grimm and Withered Hags. Very popular band in the a metal corner of the VC and for good reason because this is great stuff Scottish blackened speed thrash whatever you want to call it it's good now deviating again from uh, the formats that music soccer used uh, this one uh, blu-ray I have shown this one I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because I want to make an entire video on this but this is bandmates live show from uh, Tokyo Garden uh, in um, the Tokyo Garden Theater, sorry, uh, from January 2023. Just a great show. I would love to have been there live. Uh, fantastic performers. Great show. I'll say more about this when I make the video. Okay, uh, let's turn to the vinyl uh, reissue here. Uh, Progressive Metal Legends Fate's Warning. This is Darkness in a Different Light. Very dark and melancholic uh, progressive metal, but really good stuff. Um, and plays a lot with, you know, emotions as well. And that's typically not something we associate with progressive metal. I would consider this progressive too. Uh, Realm, Endless War, reissue out on uh, 
um, music on vinyl. Um, uh, progressive power thrash uh, in the vein of Watchtower. Fantastic stuff. Bit of a challenging listen, though. Uh, soaring vocals. Uh, you know, musical journey, mind-boggling uh, chords and structures and all that stuff. I love this album. It's fantastic. So do check it out if you are into Watchtower. Another reissue here. Uh, Destructor. Maximum Destruction. Um, kind of speed thrash metal. Uh, I heard this one a long time ago remember liking it don't remember what it sounds like so i picked it up when it was reissued um an another reissue from this year um hypocrisy penetralia death metal classic i think we can say that for sure death metal classic from back in the day uh they had a couple of other hypocrisy reissues actually in the record store where I found this, but I was drawn to this one, of course, because of their evil logo. I've got to be honest, I haven't heard uh, the ones they did when they changed the logo because it wasn't evil enough. Uh, maybe I should give them a chance. What do you guys think? Um, so, up next, uh, a new one, Scorched by Overkill, Thrash Metal Legends. This one is good, it's Overkill. What else do you want? You know what I mean? Um, and here, another reissue again. Set the world on fire. Annihilator. Music on vinyl reissue. Um, I don't know if they did a colored version of this, which maybe came out last year, but the black vinyl version came out this year. And I like black vinyl, so I'm not going to go for the colored one there. Uh, this one is colored, as you can see. This is uh, Theories of Flight, also by Fate's Warning. Very similar style to um, the one I showed you earlier, Darkness in a Different Light. Uh, great stuff, too. Uh, Realdo's vocals are fantastic on both this one and the one I showed you earlier. His voice is just perfect for this more melancholic style that they've been doing for a long time. And up last, more death metal. Finally, a new release again. Obituaries, dying of everything. It's obituary. Sounds like obituary. What else do you want? Fantastic old school death metal. So there you go. As you can see, not a whole lot of stuff from 2023 that I picked up. I should up my game. I got more stuff coming in, by the way. But uh, this is what I have so far. Thanks for watching.